Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today's is a really exciting one because we're going to be doing an IKEA video today. It's been a while. So today I'm going to be taking you around my home and showing you all the items that I have here from Ikea, including some that are 10 years old. So I thought it'd be really interesting to see how those pieces have weathered over the years and if I still like them, if I would recommend them and that sort of thing, along with a whole bunch of my Ikea favorites. So it'll be really exciting, bit of a house tour at the same time. And another reason why this video is so exciting is because this one is in collaboration with a lovely YouTuber called Lara Joanna Jarvis. So she actually asked some of her viewers to recommend some people for her to collaborate with. And some of you very kindly mentioned me in her comments. So we thought we would do a little Ikea collaboration together. I'm sure lots of you might watch Lara's videos already, but just in case you don't, do make sure you head over to her channel and subscribe while you're over there. She does loads of fab videos. She's a fan of the slow cooker, as we all are here. She loves a little bit of thrifting, and she's also got some really interesting financial videos as well. She's got a no-buy series where she basically hasn't been spending on kind of any unnecessary purchases, which is really interesting. So she's been saving money through doing that and she's also um, looking to become a first-time buyer as well and she's sharing that process too. She's also got loads of really brilliant hacks, tips, upcycles, all of that good stuff that we love so much and she also does the travel and lifestyle side of things as well. So definitely head over there and check out her video. She's going to be doing her IKEA favorite storage items for under 20 pounds over there. So I'll link that video down in the description box. Of course, IKEA is closed at the minute, but their online store is still open, I believe. But yeah, everything that I'll be showing you is all things that were previously purchased and many of them from 10 years ago, which I literally cannot believe, but there we are. <laughs> so we'll get straight into it. If you've come over from Lara's channel, thank you so much for popping over. It's great to see you here. Do click subscribe, I post new videos every single week. I love doing stuff around the house. I love charity shops and car boot sales when things are back to normal. I'll be taking you back to those. And yeah, I love to do a bit of upcycling, DIY, all of that good stuff. So it'd be great for you to stick around here as well. Give the video a little thumbs up if you enjoy it, but let's jump straight into it and see what items I've got from Ikea around my home. So the first thing that I want to show you is a slightly unusual one because this is actually a DIY but it is an Ikea DIY. I made this at one of their workshops so regular viewers here will know that I am a big fan, slightly obsessed with wreaths. Have one for every season, have a loft full of them for when Christmas time comes around and this one I keep out all year round because it's a eucalyptus kind of design. So this foliage you can pick up in store. They've got some great fake flowers in there and plants and that sort of thing. And yeah, I just kind of constructed a little wreath. So I thought we'd kick off with this. And then the next thing that I want to tell you about is actually something that I'm sitting on. So the sofa here is older than 10 years, actually. This sofa is no longer in IKEA stores. It's an old design, but it's such a lovely shape that we really wanted to hang on to this. This actually came for free from our previous landlord. So what I did was ordered a new sofa cover from a company that makes covers, especially for IKEA sofas. If they're still up and running, I will link them in the description box, but that was over 10 years ago. So this sofa must be getting on for probably 20 years, but it's still going strong. And I'm really pleased with the gray cover that we went for in the end, because I feel like that's been quite timeless, hence still having this sofa and it's still going strong and it's still all right. So yeah, this has definitely stood the test of time. Over 10 years, still comfortable and still in good nick, so I'm really pleased with that. And I think the grey, quite hard wearing fabric was a good choice as well, because that seems to have lasted really nicely. And then what I like to do is just mix and match the cushions whenever I want to change up the look of it. Another piece that's from Ikea is actually this console table. This is no longer in store, but this one has lasted 10 years. And this one, I think, was reduced to something like 35 pounds. I think it was the end of a line when I picked this one up. And what I love about this is how it fits perfectly the alcove in the living room. So it just fits the space really nicely, hence it has been there for 10 years now. It also has the lower shelf as well, which is really handy to kind of tuck things down into. I've got my candles in that old trunk down there that was a skip find. I do like my skip diving, in case you didn't know. And yeah, 
just really pleased with how that looks still and haven't done anything to it. It's stayed the original kind of wood that it came with. I could paint that, but I've always quite liked the wood, so I've kind of left it as it is. Over here we have one of these glass carafes that you can get in Ikea really reasonably. And I've just used it to pop some fake leaves in, along with this one here. And it's one of those bottles with the stoppers. So I'm using these as kind of decor in here, but I've got some in the kitchen as well. They're really handy for making drinks in. And then over in the corner we have this lamp. These are really good. I think they still have these in store as well. And I think this one is definitely a good few years old as well. And I still really love that. In the office slash spare room, we have these cupboards with the sliding doors. So we've actually got one stacked up on the other. I recently did a bit of an organizational sort out of this if you want to check it out. And also um, the office spare room makeover video. So yeah, these have sliding doors, which I don't find the most practical, I'll be honest, because I feel like they're not that easy to reach into because you can only have kind of one half open at one time. I think I would prefer to have cupboard doors that just open, but it is really neat and you can also use these for shoe storage as well. So the shelves will actually sit at a diagonal if you want them to, so you can get shoes stacked up that way. But I use it to organise all of my craft and DIY supplies, just so that I've got everything to hand kind of all in one place. And these storage boxes fit quite neatly on top. I've had the label maker out on these. Also, this shelf bracket is from Ikea. I actually found this. Someone was throwing that out, along with some shelves from Ikea, which I have uh, four of these and still haven't done anything with them, but I'll probably pop those up at some point because I quite like how simple they look. And then this mirror in the corner here is also from Ikea. I think these are quite reasonable as well. And then I've got some more of the shelf brackets I've just used to hang some plants up in here. So this is another piece that I've had for years. I feel like this is an absolute classic and one of my favorite Ikea pieces ever. This is a step ladder and it also has many other uses. You can double these up as bedside tables and then it has like a second handy little shelf down here. And these are just so handy for any jobs around the house as well. So if you do need to reach up to a high cupboard or you're painting and decorating, that sort of thing, then these are perfect for that and a really easy one to do a little upcycle on as well because of course you can paint them. I've just gone for the splattered paint effect with this one but yeah it has been well used and well loved and another little favorite from ikea is this candle holder so this was actually in their clearance section i like to always have a little look in there and this was coming to the end of the line so they were discontinuing these so i picked up this one for 12 pounds and as you can see the different uh, candle holders kind of all slot together so you can either stack them up in whichever formation you fancy, or you can obviously separate them all and then just arrange them on your tabletop however you like. But I really like the different colors of these and I just thought they looked really cool as a little three kind of thing on the table. Okay, so onto the kitchen. I don't think there's much in here that's actually from Ikea, but there is one thing that is 10 years old and that is the bin. Believe it or not, this is 10 years old. I think I bought this as kind of like a temporary fix. They're really reasonable. And they've just got a really simple lid that flaps open like this. I love the fact that they're a rectangle shape because that's really handy in kitchens. You can just slide them in under a counter or at the side of some counters and you could get two or three of these for different recycling. All of our recycling goes into this and it's just lasted really well. And I find it completely unoffensive. Some bins, I think when they're stainless steel, they can be annoying to polish. This one's so easy to clean. I just throw some bleach in it, hot water, good to go. Lasted really well, absolutely good as new. So it's a bin, can't get too excited about a bin. I probably can get excited about a bin. <laughs> there we are. Out on the roof garden, we have two of these chairs. These are from the Hay collaboration, I believe. And yeah, we've got two of these. I went for the slightly deeper ones. They also do a more upright version as well. And I think these look lovely. One of them actually came from the clearance section. My mate Luke spied one of them in the clearance section because it had a tiny scratch on it. So I actually gave it a little wipe in store and managed to get the scratch off, which was brilliant because I got a bit of money off. And we also have some of these hanging tea light holders out here that were in the sale in Ikea as well. And this one I'm using to try to encourage this clematis to grow up. 
In the bathroom we have this huge mirror and I really like this one. This is an old one as well. I think this must be a good few years old. And it's a really simple design with this nice, simple aluminium edge to it. And I find it doesn't steam up as well, which is fab for it being in the bathroom, obviously. And then to the side of it, we have this metal storage unit as well, which is a really handy little piece. I actually got this from, I think it was a car boot sale, but it is Ikea and a nice one to do a little DIY with. I may actually have a go at maybe adding some handles to this at some point. I think this would work quite nicely in an office as well because the drawers are kind of like perfect for A4 sized paper so you could keep different supplies in this and organize them quite nicely in there. In the bedroom we have one of the biggest IKEA pieces. This one is 10 years old and it is the Pax wardrobe. So you can get these in all different designs, different doors on the front, different units. And I went for this kind of gray wood effect which I still really like so I'm quite pleased with the choice there and also with the doors being mirrored I feel like they're quite timeless so that's a purchase that's still going strong and I still really like I think these wardrobes are so well designed for fitting lots of things in them on this side there's double doors and there's enough space for two rails full with clothes and then there's also enough space to add an additional shelf so you could have one at the bottom there or you could switch that around and have a shelf across the top and then in this unit we've got some sliding uh, sort of storage boxes that go really deep you can fit absolutely loads of clothes into those I've just popped an old bag next to that one just to make use of that bit of space at the side I'm not sure why these aren't a little bit wider but there we go maybe they do ones that fit better they also do these sort of metal basket drawers which are quite handy as well they also do options like this sliding tray that's got little dividers in to put things like sunglasses and watches in and yeah just range different shelves at different heights you can obviously play around with that to suit whatever it is that you're storing in the wardrobe so i think these are really handy you can get lots of different options for here that was a light but it needs a new battery really like this piece um, I don't know if you can see, but it's actually leaning <laughs> up against the wall. So I think I need to just tighten it up a little bit and make sure that everything's tight. Sometimes the screws get a little bit loose. And with this being sort of offset to the side of the window as well, I just love how much light it brings into the room. So I think the mirrored option is quite a safe bet if you are looking for something kind of timeless. They do do lots of different door options as well. They've literally got hundreds of different designs to choose from. I also went for the tallest one available as well. So as you can see, it's almost touching the ceiling, which really maximizes the amount of space that we get in the wardrobe. And I do recommend this. So if you are looking to get a wardrobe for your home, I can uh, recommend the Pax wardrobes from Ikea. And then on the bed, I've conveniently thrown on this additional kind of, what would you call that, a comforter or a throw, I guess, or a quilt. And this is another item that is 10 years or probably even older, could be even getting on for 15 years old, this one. I think they still do this in Ikea and I really love the simple grey colour of it. It's really nice soft fabric and then it's got kind of like a charcoal, looks a bit red on camera, but it's like a charcoal kind of colour on the uh, reverse side. So you can put it whichever way you want. This has been such a versatile piece. I've used it to cover the sofa in the past. I've used it for when guests come to stay and they just want a little bit of an extra layer. It makes for a nice cozy blanket to have in the living room and also like an additional layer for the bed. In the winter or in the summertime, you could just have a sheet and use this as your duvet. This rug is another very reasonable piece that you can pick up in Ikea. They have various designs of this and I think it's literally just a few pounds. I really like the fringing on the edges and it's really versatile so I use this out on the roof garden I'll throw this down on the decking if I want to go out there and sunbathe it can also double up as something like a bath mat or a rug in any area of your home where you might need one and I thought as well this could potentially become quite a nice wall hanging as well if you folded it over maybe hung it over a piece of dowel or something. Another thing that Ikea do really well is plant pots and these gold ones were in the sale last time I was in store. Really reasonable. And also this piece, Lily. Now this was being given away from Ikea for a promotion. Again, this is 10 years old. So I've managed to keep a plant just about alive for 10 years. I think that one needs <laughs> slightly repotting. There was two originally. Let me show you how the other one's getting on. And this is all that remains of the other one. So yeah, that one wasn't looking too well at all, but it had sprouted a little baby. So I've just repotted that for the time being in with this spider plant, but I will give this a pot of its own as soon as I get one sorted for it. 
And I also have this bonsai tree from Ikea as well. That's still doing all right. I might give this one a little bit of food because it's looking a little bit scraggly. So there we go. I really hope you enjoyed this look at all the Ikea pieces in my home. Let me know if you've got any of them and let me know what your favourite pieces are from Ikea. And have you got any that are 10 years old? I'd love to know that as well. And now make sure you head over to Lara's channel where she's going to be bringing you her organisational storage favourites from Ikea for under £20. Make sure you subscribe while you're over there and tell her I said hello in the comments as well. And I'll link any of my previous Ikea vlogs down in the description box as well in case you wanted to check those out too. Don't forget you can always catch me over on Instagram. I'm Mr. Carrington over there and I've also got my home account which is Mr. Carrington Home and that's where I'll share with you how I style up things around my home and that sort of thing. So it'd be great to see you over there too. And if you've popped over from Lara's channel, thank you again so much for popping over. It's great to see you here and I hope you stick around. Do give the video a little thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.